What is going on guys? Fighting Game Select is here. We are back again and today we have who I think is one of the most underrated but mostly everybody that plays fighting games know how godlike this dude is, man. <laughs> He's been godlike since Marvel. I gotta say, man, especially your role to uh, Capcom Cup this year. Oh, thank you. Duel Kevin, what is good, bro? What's up, KZ? Nice to be here. I'm glad to be part of hey, this. Hey, it's good to see you, man. You know, uh, I, I never forget, bro, uh, seeing how everybody was so amazed how godlike you were and how much you've put in so much uh damage on a lot of these brackets <laughs> let alone beating some of the best players that people anticipated saying like they was gonna win evo and things like that mm -hmm. you definitely came through and you shut them down bro so yeah you know we all know how good luke is oh uh, yeah we've seen luke quite some time mm -hmm. and you know people as much as people don't like luke people like talking about luke, right? <laughs> they can't get so, enough yeah, so like, you know, I feel He's like we kind of got to talk about some Luke, right? Yeah. And like, what is Luke's biggest strength? His biggest strengths? Oh, man. Yeah. I think it's just like how much he can overwhelm you, you know? Like, it just, it seems like if you just look at his tools on surface level, it seems just like solidness, right? But then you go dive deeper into like how much you can maximize his pressure and his damage off of the pressure or off the neutral tools that he has. Like, uh like a like a charge heavy knuckle right like you don't want to di because if he has level three you can he could level three on reaction to it and do like 50 percent against you um just uh crouch me and punch you know the 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 godsend normal that everyone knows of uh but that counter hits you and he gets a background i was with the drive rush yeah you're gonna take lots of damage then too um so just uh it's simple at up front but diving deeper oh man yeah he's gonna hurt you and he's he's gonna just Dominate the neutral, played by a well, uh, uh, a great player, knows who knows how to use his normals and especially moves properly. Given that, like when Luke came out, I feel like when the game first came out, people was looking at like Luke as being like regular, you know, oh. basic people. Yeah, people said he was uh, low tier. Yeah, people were saying like Ryu was better. Yeah, I actually was you the know? only one who said he was top tier still. I actually was the only one in faith. I'm, I normally don't downplay. If anything, I upplay. So I was actually one of the early ones who said he, he was actually. I think he was one of the best. But yeah, you know, uh, a lot. I think a lot of people's perspective on the game was a bit, a bit screwed. You yeah. know, back in the day, you know, mm -hmm. Honda was out here terrorizing the rank brackets. Yep, so, Kimberly. You know, people had Hondas. <laughs> Kimberly, and, Kimberly in the beta. Kimberly in the beta. You yeah. know, with Ex Tatsu. You know, people playing the crap. Gaio. You know, people were saying Gaio was going to be. People the, said Manon at true. one point. People said Manon. That's crazy. Uh, Looking back. Yeah, at it was. It's just dominant. But yeah. nobody talked about Luke. Yeah uh for i want to say like five months four months into the game yeah right? it took us a while and uh to learn how to understand crouch medium punch the most i think that's what really changed it once we figured that out right. he definitely went up the tier list yeah and um it's pretty impressive just seeing like how somebody very straightforward is like so dominating in like so many aspects of um the mid-range the close range you know he has really good buttons up close really good buttons mid-range uh great fireball you know, like, it's a lot of big strength of him. Uh, yep. So, you know, like, as much as we talk about, like, the the pros, we got to talk about the cro the cons, man. So, like, what is his weakness? Weakness? Oh, man. That's a hard question to <laughs> the answer. I feel, like if you, I, I feel bad asking you this because I feel like if I ask you this, everybody's, like, in the comment section, like, yeah, 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 yeah. dual Kevin. What is his <laughs> Weakness, quote unquote. Hey, again, I'm not the type to downplay. I upplay if anything. Um, I don't think he has a glaring weakness. You know, like you could say somebody has like a terrible walk speed. I don't think he does. You could say someone has low damage. I don't think he does. Um, if you want to be like, like something he may not have that other characters have. I mean, he doesn't have a fireball drive rush. Like if you want to count that as a weakness, but it's like. He doesn't have that, but it's only because his fireball is great in another way, you know? So, like, you take, you win some, you lose some. You know, it's a give and take. Whether you appreciate a fireball drive rush or you just you just like the fact that it's a, a, a hit scan fireball, I mean, I'll take either one. Hit scan fireball is good enough as it is. So, a glaring weakness doesn't exist for a Luke. But, I mean, he doesn't have some things that, yes, a, a, a character, like, like, even someone like Aki actually has, like, fireball drive rush, you know? Um, yeah, but even then, still the strongest without it. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, he doesn't have a fireball drive. That if that would be like his biggest weakness, he doesn't have that. But you know, yeah. you know the trade off. You know, he always can win an ex fireball war because he yep. always has to follow up. Yep. You know, he he always can like 
in the round if he needs that extra little damage. Yep. So, you know, like, I guess that's a great trade-off. I mean, it really sounds like to me that Luke doesn't really have a, a weakness. A weakness that doesn't hit too hard, you know? And yeah, like, uh, it's a, give like and a take. weakness that doesn't really affect him, right? Uh-huh. I say so. Damn, that's 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 a pretty good character. <laughs> you know, when you think about it, like, damn, that's All right, pretty good. I'm chilling. Yeah, you know, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, everybody that I talk to about, you know, they always say, like, a one... You know, even with the characters top tier, they always say, like, one, one thing or, like, probably one and a half, two. Mm -hmm. Or, like, you know, even, like, even some characters that aren't good, they'd be like, she only has, like, this one weakness. But, like, yeah. you know, so just hearing that we got none, it's like... <laughs> That's really it. Hey, that's I'm a like, that's damn. a top tier character. That's the number one character for sure, huh? Yeah, I mean that's pretty impressive. I mean I think characters like that are really fun. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. just be yeah, just because of like being able to be like you know obviously if the character is like in a in a tier where like they're like A plus and like the reason why they're A plus is because they got no bad matchups. And I I mm -hmm. like the type of characters like that because it really shows how much a player knows a matchup well. Yes. Rather than just like you know just uh, Russian roulette, you know. That. Yeah, the small They're intricacies, the small intricacies of a matchup, it, it showcases. Yeah. Right. So let me ask you this, man. Like we talked about that, we talked about the weakness. So what are you think, in your opinion, what do you think like best matchups for Lucas? If you can name like two good characters, what would be those characters? Good like, matchups. If you run into them in bracket, you like, oh my god, like I'm about to be in grand finals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two good matchups uh i'd say maybe oh you want good characters because i was about to i was to list some lower tiers uh but... hey man with good characters bad characters like any character that if you see them if somebody sit next to you and they shake your hand they say good luck yeah. and they play x character you like oh damn <coughs> this is about to be free <laughs> it's a little bit tricky because in a game like street fighter 6 where characters got throw loops so if you if you had a hit on me and throw loop me in the corner, I just lost. It doesn't matter. I just guessed wrong entirely, you know. And, and um, so at the end of the day, it may not too much matter about the character. But to answer your question, like I could see like a Kimberly being well for Luke, um, due to the damage yeah. difference, especially um, the can yeah the can setups. Luke can negate it by like doing the EXDP into the follow up, so he avoids the can entirely if it were to hit with a D uh, EXDP. Um, the fireballs can give her trouble. I'm gonna name another tier character and like like Milan as well. But like I said, it, it depends, right? Cause like an item is still kind of troublesome um, with Manon and could get you. And it's beating me a, uh, a decent amount of times in the tournament already. But if I see a Manon, yeah, I, I feel mad comfortable just, you know, chucking some fireballs, you know, it's hard for her to, to, to do the twirl against it. Um, and again, yeah, the because it's not traditional. It's not a traditional fireball. Yeah. It's like a it's like an instant hit right? scan. Like, yeah, yeah the hit scan matters yeah. um and the damage difference once again she doesn't do much damage unless she has like a level four command grab i'll add like a top tier a bonus like top tier um i think right now jp is actually mattering more and it's like um well my bad i should say like this because of the nerfs he just received especially with the any air nerf the jump ins matter more in that matchup than oh, before yes yeah. yes so the damage the damage is there um, the drive rush is good to abuse against uh, JP if you want to get past his ghosts, his, his spikes, whatever. And then the jump ins is something he also has to matter. So you got to worry about his Luke's normals, Luke's drive rush, and now Luke's jump ins that he wasn't able to before. So wow. at least it's going to be like at least a trade almost every time. Wow, that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, those are some good characters. Yes. All right. So I think we got a couple of those good ones. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's talk about matchups that are really bad for Luke. I'm curious about <laughs> what matchup it's like. Damn, like I think this match is a little troublesome a little bit. I think at worst it's like there's a five-five matchup for Luke. I actually used to think Cammy wins. I don't think so anymore. Um, ever since we learned about Crash Mini Punch once again, um, I'll tell I'll tell you I'll tell you like this. I'll, there's some matchups uh, as some of y'all know. I also play Rashid, and I'll switch out Rashid uh, as opposed to Luke when I feel like the timer's right. I feel like uh, a Marisa, I'll use Rashid actually, as opposed to Luke, even though it's 5-5. Five, five. That makes sense. Yes. So because of like the, the, the fireball being eaten up by the Gladius and punishing countering me, could be a little troublesome. Her crouch medium punch is also good, if not just as good as Luke has used as a counter poke um, and damage. Uh, it's not plus like Luke's, of course, but trying to whip punish that normal is actually probably, it's probably hard to whip punish her normal right now, ever since the nerf to Luke's crouch medium punch, you know? Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, so there, there's like that matchup. Another matchup on top of my head, probably like a, a Blanca too. Actually, I'd say. Oh I'd, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd probably use uh, Rashid as opposed to Luke. 
Um, it's a little bit what about of, Ken. Ken, I think, eh, Ken's a little bit I tricky. Feel like I, see that, I feel like I see that matchup so many times. Yeah. And, like, depending on the player, I feel like the results differ. Bro, I think it's 5-5. So five, like, five. It's weird because uh, every I think I think I'm just about to get flamed for this, but I think it's five five. But it, and it's ooh. at the player practice room at Calvin Cup, bro. It's it's funny because I remember every time I picked a Luke versus a Ken player, I would just be playing right, and then after the set, whether I I, I won or lost, but the oh the Ken player always had to talk about how the matchup was bad for Ken, bro. I didn't even say anything. I was just chilling. I was playing, but they always had to like, yo, this matchup sucks. It's like, bro. I was just playing. <laughs> I didn't even say anything yeah, at all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it, it's bad. I man. think it's 5-5. Five, five. I personally think it's 5-5. Five, five. You know, that's okay, man. This is your this is your space, bro. So if the Kim players got something to say, bro, they're going to have to come <laughs> as a guest. And they're going to have yeah, to talk yeah, about yeah, who's their up. worst matchup. Yeah, I'm just minding my own business, bro. <laughs> I'm chilling now, let me ask five, you this. Man. How hard is it to learn Luke uh, getting into like the game and then mastering the character at like a high level? I think Luke's actually a great beginner character. Um, okay. Like I mentioned before, on surface level, the tools are very simple. I think Shoto, it's a Shoto-like character, right? So I think Shoto's in general, when it comes to Street Fighter, are usually the go-to characters to lurk. Um, if you want the like the, like the the classic B and B, you probably go more towards Ryu. Um, the stylish kind of one, you go for Ken, and then I think the new schools, how, what they were aiming for when it comes to Luke. Um, so you probably you probably see like newer players, and obviously he's like the protagonist now. So you probably would see like newer players uh, play and mess with fireball, great fireball still, like I said, um, great normals, uh, traditional DP any year, uh, and then you get the damage off of it, right? So like playing him to a basic level will work wonderful for you at your at your basic level, you know, whatever like like say you're at the the the, the, the silver, the gold ranks, it will work well for you. Um, mm -hmm. To truly master him, I mean, just like any other character, at that point, it won't matter what character. It's gonna take time. It's like it's, it's gonna take commitment, um, which is great. Which is a good thing about fighting games, you know. Um, I kind of compare it a lot to like shooters, you know. Like when a gun gets good in FPS, you you could just easily switch to it and you can be a master at it, you know. Right, right. But in fighting games, you gotta be committed to the character. And I think it's a great thing. Yeah, it's an investment. Yes, yes. And it shows within that investment how much time you put in, how often you become with the character. So it will take some time. So what about, like, if you were at a super high level? Like, do you feel like the, the role gets uh, harder just because of being a straightforward player or a straightforward character? So he doesn't have any, like, tricks like that. The only trick, and I mentioned it, uh, like the he charge heavy knuckle into level three is that you can abuse. Other than that though, he doesn't have any tricks, right? Like you're, you're gonna have to rely, <laughs> uh, like you're gonna have to rely on your fundamentals a lot, I feel, when it comes to like whip punishing with crouch medium punch uh, or poking with stand medium kick or stand medium punch, uh, right? I, I, um, feel like, I feel like Luke players that get carried love that's that, that. That's why, that's why I was laughing. It's like, that's why I was like, <laughs> It was like, ah, oh, I love that. Yes, <laughs> love, yes, I definitely be reacting that's exactly what I'd be doing, uh, Kevin. No, yeah, sometimes you just get the hit just because, you know, you'd be throwing cards when you punch and that just gets handed to you, simply. But at the end of the day, if you want to whip punish, uh, uh, like the higher higher caliber players, you, it's going to take a lot more than just throwing it out there with crouch medium punch, especially with the, with the nerfs. Um, it's going to be a lot harder to do so. So at the, at the, when you're facing the higher ups, for sure, it's going to take a lot more precision and timing with your button presses. And, and it will show. Like you will, you will get punished if you whiff a lot more. If there was one big tip that you could give for Luke players getting into Luke, what would be that tip that you use from like, like this will always be the tip that you should always go back to, and like read. Uh, what would be that tip? Practicing your confirms for sure. Um, oh, that's good. Yes, yeah. practicing your hit confirms will crouch me and punch on regular hit, on punish counter, on counter hit, stand me and punch into target combo. Uh, any low forward hit confirm actually that's still uh, pretty good. Yeah, he, he probably has like he might be the only character in the game that has a low forward hit confirm. I think. Oh yeah. Yes. He and, has that, huh? Yes, yes. In the target combo, uh, you, you you become plus one in someone's face. You know, um, and you don't have to spend drive meter to be that, to have pressure from it from low forward. Um, so abuse that, like master it, uh, and take advantage of his tools of hit confirming his buttons. Very important. You make your buttons more threatening. Whenever you get a hit, you can confirm into super, and someone di dies off of 40, 50 percent. You know, as opposed to if you didn't have that down, you had to, you have to search for a few more hits. So definitely something worth at any level, any level. I think you should practice the hit confirming. 
All right, and you know, overall, I feel like I shouldn't have to ask this question, uh, but you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway for the audience because I know they're gonna laugh hearing this. Overall, is Luke good in Street Fighter Six? <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I'd be, I'd be up play. I think he's the best character. He's been good since Street Fighter uh, Five, bro. He's been like the best since Street Fighter. It was a debate before the patch, the mini patch that happened between Luke or JP. I said JP, uh, but now I gotta say Luke. You can't, just, you can't not say Luke at this point. Since yeah, Street Fighter Five, yeah, dude. You know it's crazy. Uh, you know, even just bringing Street Fighter Five, you know, that might be something that we could also talk about. But you know, hearing that and hearing what you got to say. Uh, I really appreciate you taking this time, oh, you know, sure, shooting this, uh, talking about uh, Luke. But let yeah. me ask you this, man, and I'm sure that people want to know, man. Where can they find you? Twitter, uh, dual underscore Kevin. You can uh, on Twitch. I've been streaming a lot more, especially doing morning streams. So if you're up here early, you know, getting some coffee, want to watch some Street Fighter, I say it like this: nobody wants to get perfect period at 9 a.m. And but maybe, the I don't. but you know what? The game's still fun to watch, right? So maybe you want to watch somebody else get perfect period at 9 a.m. I'll do that for you. I'm a man of the people. So I appreciate you, Kizzy, for having me on. I think it was a great time. As always, man, I appreciate you coming here, man. You know, we go way back. Uh, so I'm glad to have people that, you know, yeah, I should real. To yeah. be able to just shoot just about the game and stuff. And just, you know, people always want to hear conversations that we have behind the camera, right? Yeah, this They're is like, the genuine conversations that we would just talk at, at a at venue anyways, at an event. Yeah, you know, so it's it's really cool to just kind of like showcase that and just put it into the video so people can like, you know, chill and just hear uh, the mindset, uh, just how conversations go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and with that being said, man, make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you guys go subscribe. Go follow Dual Kevin right now as this video drop. Go ahead and follow him. Leave a like. Let us know how you guys feel about Luke. I know it's a lot of negatives, but that's okay. <laughs> drop the negatives in the comment section below, but make sure you guys follow him. And with that being said, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Later.